everyone. This is Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica. A few hours ago, a new update has been released, version 1.86. Please take a few moments to read the notes. Fifteen new aircraft. A handful of remodels. A few bug fixes and the like. All right. Assuming you've already read the notes, as well as clicking the pause button, let's begin by teleporting to Hampton Field. So here is the Cessna R182RG, the retractable gear variant of the Cessna 182. So where is Hampton Field? Here it is. And here is the standard J, of which it has logged over five hours, and named after the color of the airframe. Let's go back to the new aircraft. So first off, here is the Transavia PL-12 air truck, an agricultural aircraft from Australia, might. Oh, it's orange. Right, so let's you know, this terrible slowdown there. So a shade of Oh, this slowdown is getting a bit annoying, but let's get the aircraft white. The first agricultural aircraft in the uncommon rarity, yellow rarity, the Antonov An Dua, the AN2 is white, and the Cessna 180 is also white, or widespread rarity. the air truck. The focus next to Ockany Island.
and here's the Rutan Quickie Q2, also logged in more than five hours. And back to the dealership menu, here is the Max Air Hummer 150. Ultralight. <laughs> or sh should I say the Hill Hummer? Retroactual <laughs> Ultralight from the 70s. The Hummer 150. Alternate color scheme. The Max Air Hummer. The Hill Hummer. Let's now move on to Webley Island. Here's the Dornier Do X, the pride of Weimar Germany, and Altac has remodeled this a long time ago. You can see the addition of text. But game-wise, it's just a slower variant of the Boeing 314 Clipper. And here's the American Champion ATCBC Scout. A bush plane is basically a general aviation aircraft which provides passenger flight services to remote and undeveloped areas. Such as those exotic areas 
on the deserts, the rainforests, the tundra, and the like. The Scout. And there's the float plane variant, which is a convertible, so let's head our way to the vehicle database, type in float plane, and here it is, the American Champion HCCBC float plane. I'll keep on clicking. If you want to see the color palette, so basically color one might be the, the red, and color two may be the yellow part, and color three might be the bottom. The float plane. Let's switch gears to Harden International for the next new aircraft on the list. So here's Harden Fleet, the Harden Fleet. And, and if you've watched my previous videos, you should have already known what's this Lockheed C-5 Galaxy Christchild. After all those transport flights and supply drops, let's wait for this to load. Oh, I was going to lower the quality. Here it is, the Augusta Westland AW139. Oh, did I say Augusta or Augusta? Yeah, it should be Augusta. Augusta, yes. The helicopter, the rotor blades, rather. Yes, the rotor blades do not change color. So back to aircraft white. The AW-139. Corporate helicopter.
and the convertible variant, the AW189, we will go back to the vehicle database. The improved version of the 139, the AW189. Notice that any difference? Fewer windows, improved engine. The color scheme is basically the same as the AW139. The AW189. multi-lift helicopter. Let's turn our focus to Avalon, more specifically Oakport Airport. So here's the Fairchild Sweating in Metroliner and the McDonald 220. How does it compare from the older Old Park Airport? Once there was like Two runways, or it's just run one way and the other one isn't <laughs> rendered as a runway. So it just turns into a general aviation airport to a smaller international airport. Other than that, the rest of Oakport is basically the same. The lake, the cityscape, the factories, the windmills, just this airport has been <laughs> revamped. So back to the list of new aircraft, or should I say, <laughs> there's a remodel of an older aircraft, currently in game, the Dassault Falcon Syncat, the Dassault Falcon 50. What an improvement. It's no longer the usual fish lodge stabilizer of wing format of the collar palette. It's just delivery. Falcon Sincant, the Falcon Sincant. 
Falcon 50. And there's a variant. We shall go back to the database and let's search for Dassel. And here is the Falcon Sinkan variant, Susanna. And it comes with a pointy nose and some missiles. And basically the color palette is the same as a normal Falcon Sinkan. Comparison to Sinkat, the Susanna, three less capacity, 18 less maximum speed, 17 kilometers less of range. The Dassault Falcon Sincat Susanna with its anti ship missiles. All right, let's let's teleport now to Lionham Air Force Base. So here's one of those newer aircraft, <laughs> not newer, new aircraft from a previous version, the British Aircraft Corporation Tactical Strike and Reconnaissance Mach Two the BAC TSR2 and it only has a two color palette rather than three and you'll see why so maintenance menu and you don't see the red and the colors of the flag of the United Kingdom that is So, color one is most of the aircraft, and color two are those lines. I can't zoom in for some reason. Yes, those lines is the color two. Oops. I'll let you notice by changing it to aircraft black. Here's color two. Other than that, it's uh, it has a lower service ceiling. But for color one, this is what we call the anti-flash white. The RGB colors are 242, 243, and 244. Anti-flash white is paint used <laughs> to deflect much of the nuclear radiation from the strikes they drop. Or no, yeah, the nuclear bombs they drop and just deflect some of those explosive particles. Or that's what I've read. So that, yes, the anti-flash white, and then there's only two pallets, no color three, but let's go back to the list of aircraft that have been released. So dealership. So the first plane that has been released in here is the Ledoc Zero Do Do. The Ledoc Zero Two Two. A mid-1950s 
early interceptor. <laughs> yes, an early form of interceptor in the mid-1950s. Straight from La France. So let's make all of this aircraft gray. Interceptor. The ramjet. So you can see from the max speed, that is almost Mach 1. <laughs> yes, it's below the speed of sound. So it can do racing and airstrike. How close then would this be? The zero do do. Zero two two. And here's the other one, a fighter interceptor from Sweden, the Saab Y-35 Draken, the Saab J-35 Dragon. So it should be a lighter gray. All right, a lighter form of aircraft gray. So it's the body stabilizer wing configuration of colors. The Saab Tritofem. Once again, it's the Saab Yi Trifiofem Draken, the Saab J35 Dragon. Now let us go back to the aircraft database, no, the vehicle database. <laughs> they, they renamed it to vehicle since they released the boats. Yes, the vehicle database. And let's search for the U2 models, U2 variants rather, remodeled by Theo, aka the only one. So. The early version of the U-2, the Lockheed U-2A, you may notice some differences. Where the fuel tanks go, it's gone. And the one that is the craftable vehicle, it, the statistics have been reduced. So it's lower service ceiling. Yes, it's all the set. Most of the stats are lower. from the previous version of the game. The U2A. And then the one that is blue rarity, the Lockheed U2S, 
it has the similar stats as the previous version of the Lockheed U-2. Well, it used to be 24,000 meters of service ceiling, now it's 23,500. But the rest is slightly the same. Oh yes, it's about the same. It's already 402, yes, that's... And then there's this... Yes, you know, the field tanks. Yes, this is the... This is the... Should I say yes, this, this is the U-2 previously. Now you'll need to have... You have to convert this, and that requires like five hours of flight. But anyways, this is the same as, it's practically the same statistics as the U2 in previous versions of the game, since this was like released in the pre-alpha. And then, it's just there's an extra, is this an antenna or another field tank? But still, it's the improved version of the U2. Just with this thing at the top added. The U2S. Right, so let's now go back to the Oconia Islands to Fiskar Island Airport. So, here Fiskar, we've got. You should remember the Tuplov 2 Stosro Ketire, the S variant and the D variant. Yeah, so we, what can we choose? You wanna. What, you, what can we choose? It's move to. What can we move to? So the Alexei of Kaem, the Ilushin Il, Sindesia Chest, the Mikoyan Gurevich, Mid Pietnatset. Or the Milvid Vinatset. Well, let's just go with the um, Pietnatset. The Mig Pietnatset. <laughs> the Mig Pietnatset. Yes. Yeah, Pietnatset. That's the Russian 15. So the remodeled aircraft by Warrior. Here it is the Tupolev 2, the Visti Ketiresto. The tuple of TU-204-100. 204-100. <laughs> yeah, 204, 204, whatever you want to call it. So, color one is still the top part of the fuselage. And the vertical stabilizer. Not 255. All right, 216. Color 3 is the undercarriage. So basically, the color scheme is the same, but I think, I don't know what Warrior changed in this 204. Yeah, the color scheme is the same, but I think. Was there doors on this side before? No, I, I, yeah, I think there was. There were no doors here, because I think it's difficult of warrior to, <laughs> yes. So, yes, here's the two dvistiketire, and then we'll sh go back at the vehicle database for the convertible variants. So, so Tupolev. There's like at least three variants. Here is the tuple of two Vistichatire Store S, in which this game uses the letter C instead of the Kyrillic S for some reason. Like what happened to that? Yeah, what was? Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's only this one because it's supposed to be S. So, hang on a bit. Yeah, it's cargo. I don't know why they call it. Is it C or S? So this is the cargo variant. 
of the tuple of two divisive criteria. So you should know what color one, color two. So color two must be the front and the wingtips, and color three is that gray thing in the middle. Or is it the other way around? The gray is color two, and the yellow should be color three. But anyways, this is the tuple of two divisive criteria store S. Or store C. I don't know what to call it. Yes, but I think yeah, Russian is the C is S. So okay, cargo. I, how, how do they call it in Russian? What's Russian for freighter or cargo? And then here are some of the variants. This one you convert. This is the other convertible craft from the Divisticatire. The tuple of two, the Visti Keternatset SUS. Military transport. Well, it says here it's the communication relay plane <laughs> for the Russian president. Oh, yeah, I don't know why it was. It's. Yeah, there's only like two in the world of this. It's, but it says here military transport. The two divisive that have not said S U S. The the T U two fourteen S U S. And you can clearly see the colors of the flag of Russia. That's the red should be color two, and the blue should be color three. S U S. And, and the convertible from the two Dvisti Chetam Natset S U S, the tuple of two Dvisti Chetam Natset R, the TU 214 R, airborne, <laughs> yeah. Airborne warning, yeah, yeah, airborne warning, yes. Airborne warning and control system, AWACS. Yes, it's airborne warning and control system. Yeah, that's, that's the correct <laughs> acronym there. So, let's see. Yeah, it's all gray. But like the better up yacht this yacht, the A50, you can do reconnaissance missions. Or it says here, surveillance jobs. Fear windows. The radar system set on the sides. The tuple of two, the Vistic that have not set air. The tuple of TU want two fourteen R. And now let us teleport to the continent of Selenyosk, specifically Riskoros Regional. All right. So, what can we choose from here? The space jet. The Superjet or the Ilyushin Il Osimnatset. Oh, yes, let's just. Alright, here's the Sukhoi Superjet Store or 100. Superjet Store, Superjet 100. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. And. There's the Ilyushin Il. Store do not set, or do not set it, yes. Do not set, <laughs> not one not set. Alright, so this 
plane here is remodeled by Orange Time Express, who is currently in this server. <laughs> so here is the Antonov An Stor Sorok, the Antonov AN140. And you should know the <laughs> blue blades, same as the Antonov An Sindesyat, the AN70. Typical of Ukrainian aircraft. Yeah. The blue blades, yellow tip. Ukraina. So Blue in the colors of the flag of Ukraine is 0, 87, 183. Am I right? Alright, and some shade of gray. The Antonov An Storsurk, the Antonov AN 140, 140. Ukrainian regional airliner. All right then, so there's one more aircraft that has not been mentioned, so to do that, let's teleport to Umibutsu International, uh, the Pseudo Kansai International, here it is, and as forgot, the NAM Shi YSC Ichi Ichi has been moved to this airport, here's the YSCC, and here it is. This is, it's been moved here from Kitesboro as intended. And there's still no right level door, right side doors for some reason. But I hope Warrior would remodel this or someone else, maybe Orange. You've seen the Anstosorok. I hope, yes, I hope someone would remodel this YS ET ET, YS 11, YS 11. All right, so we're going to Horomoto Air Force Base. So, what plane can we use? Yes, I've got it. The yes, we'll use the Boeing B 7 G flying fortress for this. So let's move the vehicle to Umibutsu. Let's so there's a cargo flight to Horomoto Air Force Base. Let me see. Did it, I don't know if the new cycle affected that. So no. Yes, the Y is yes, the Y is moved to here from Kaisporo. Now let us see where is Horomoro. So, so it's just up north across how many mountains? So it's only a hundred, almost 101 kilometers. 
will take a cargo flight. All right. Hajime Masho, shall we begin? Starto. So here is our flying fortress. I wonder what the surprise is. Let's hold the T key, the Y key. I don't know, where's the surprise? The update note should say there's, oh yes, the hatch, the cargo hatch. Something this. Here it is, the cargo hatch. No, not the, the bomb bay. Yeah, yeah, is that the bomb hatch, the cargo hatch? Yeah, the bomb bay opens with the T key. Right, the bomb bay is open. And then the white key toggles the bombs. So, unload the bombs. We don't want any scenes of destruction here, so let's unload the bombs and then close the bomb hatch or bomb bay. Oh, there was a... Oh, really? Come on. Load the bombs, unload the bombs. Oh, really? Come on, it's been broken. It broke. Really? I can't close the bomb hatch or bomb bay. What do you want to... All right, let's, uh... Let's try this again. Let's, uh... Ah, oh, shoot! <laughs> uh, all right. Here's some bug in the menu. I cannot go back to the menu for some reason. Okay, so... I'll see you on the next aeronautic video. And we'll, with the other plane that is viable from Horomoto Air Force Base, Sayonara. Mata <laughs> 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 <laughs>